Hello everybody, this is Ringo back for the finale of this tournament. Yeah, it is, it's been an absolute insane tournament. And yes, we are at the finale. I can't believe it. <laughs> Ironically, I have been told that the day this video goes up is the same day as like, the anniversary of the f when the anime first aired in Japan. So it's quite ironic actually. I, I, did, I legit did not plan that, by the way. <laughs> But yeah, apparently that's that's when it happened. But yeah, let's let's talk about the matches real quick. So first off, we all have a third place playoff match between Zeno Slick Goku and MEJP10. Both of these two looking to finish their tournaments on a high. Of course, they both had a successful tournament, so you know, even if even if they lose, and they they're still finishing on a high. <laughs> Put it that way, and then. We got the big finale between Diddy Darius and Ultima Dino King. And yes, we shall talk about both of our combatants in deep, deep, deep detail before we get on with that match because it is the last match of this tournament and it deserves all the building up and hype that it should, that it gets. And yeah, just want to say before we get started, just thanks. <laughs> like, this, this tournament was for you guys. This was... You know, for getting me to a thousand subscribers, which was awesome. I, I promised the tournament when I when I reached that number, and well, I'm a man of my word. So yeah, just just a big thanks for all the amazing support, comments, and it's just been an absolute blast doing this tournament. And to, to be honest, like when is after this video, I, I don't even know what to do now because I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> but no, um, there will be a mini tournament after this, and. By process of elimination, based on all the other mini tournaments I've done so far, that tournament is going to be a lightning tournament. So yes, I will put that together. I don't know when the first match will go up. It'll probably go up like a few, one or two weeks after this video. So you can look forward to that. And that one will be the last mini tournament I do as well, because I want to work on other stuff as well. And yeah, it's been an absolute incredible journey, this tournament, from when we started, which was, I think, October time. To the beginning of February, and yes, I'm gonna want to talk about the Q&A as well because about a month ago <laughs> I posted about wanting to do a Q&A on the channel, and I never actually got around to making that video. So yes, I will will remind people that I'm going to do another. I am going to do a Q&A, and I am going to do it at the end of February, which is around my birthday time. So feel free to ask me whatever you would like, and I'm and I do have something special planned for the Q&A as well. How to do it. <laughs> So look forward for that. Um, other stuff. You know what? Let's we'll talk about it at the end. We'll talk about it at the end. That's not what you lot came here for. You lot came here to see tournament matches, and you're not. And I'm not going to deprive you. So let's get on with our third place playoff match, which is, as I said earlier, Zeno Slick Goku going up against MEGP10. Yes, I was a bit eager and already started the match. Forgive me. Right in the red corner for the last time. For Zeno, we have Pentaceratops. Didn't, you know, Zeno put up a good fight against Diddy in the end. Took out the Amargosaurus, but it got hit by a Futaba. But he got hit by a Futaba Cannon, and that's why he lost. Right, in the blue corner, for the MEJP10, we have Alpha Kentrosaurus. MEJP10 has really been the, like, the story of this tournament. Like, you know in those, like, football tournaments and you see, like, an underdog team do, like, really well and overachieve? Like, this is MEGB tap. Put it that way. <laughs> Ooh, well, Emmy gets the first hit there. Going off a crit and a tie bomb. Good start, good start. There's the tie bomb. Ooh, we got a tie. You know what that means? That tie bomb gonna go boom. Ooh, Emmy gets off another hit and a Venom Fang to come as well. So Pianixkisaurus coming to help them out. This is a good start from AGP10. Well, they had a decent start against Ultima, but it well, didn't work because the Alpha Acro came in and basically insta one, Which I probably suspect is gonna happen in the final. Diddy Darius will be like 2-0 up, and then the Alpha Apple will just sweep. And Ultimate will win 3-2, probably. Oh, there's another tie. And down goes Pentaceratops. 
Zeno yet to get going in this match, and it's MEJP10 in the lead. Right, the O then. Now for Zeno's second Dino, the Kronosaurus. Can this Kronosaurus strike back for Zeno, or can Emmy extend their lead? Oh, well, there's a Quake Saber, and it looks like Emmy's going to be extending that lead. What a performance this is from Emmy JP10 so far. Poor Zeno hasn't even got a hit. Will Emmy win free now? That'd be one heck of a way to finish, wouldn't it? Um, no, I don't think they are going to be winning 3 now because this 2 platoon crash is going to do a lot of damage. Zeno finally getting their first hit of the match, and it's a big one. And smash! Hey, look at this dude. Oh, oh, wow, it killed it. I didn't expect it to kill it. What the hell? 2 platoon crush. Crushed the Kento's rib cage and killed it. Right, now for any second item. Black, my friend, being the Pentaceratops. Because this bloody thing is insanely popular in this tournament. And you can see why. And it's no surprise that two of the top four guys have a Pentaceratops. What? That Pentaceratops gets the first hit. Thunder Driver gonna be triggered, but Emerald Garden has been triggered too. Can that get Zeno back in this match? Well, not with a tie, and there's the chance gone. Although, the Karanosaurus does get off the next hit. Slowly but surely, Zeno clawing his way back in this match. But I think that tie is going to be curtains for Karanosaurus. So Emmy will have a 2-1 lead, but here comes what I would consider the MVP here for Zeno, the Sorrow Faganax. This Soro Fagonax tanked from Tobba Cannon quite well, in fairness to it. And when the Amarga died to the Magma Blast, he thought, ooh, Zeno might actually come back into this. But then the soundtrack happened and it died. Well, the Fagonax gets the first hit. Doesn't want to take too much damage, this Soro Fagonax, from the Pentaceratops, because Emmy's third dino is Super Barry. There's a crit, it's an atomic bomb. Well, the Sorofagonax is going to take damage. A lot of it. Oh, no, that's not too bad, actually. I mean, atomic bomb is, like, not the best move to use on Pentaceratops. You net crusher is much better. Just an FYI. You know what does do a lot of damage? Firebombs! Firebombs from Sorofagonaxes do a lot of damage. And this, and this Pentaceratops is about to find out. The hard way. Recovery coming as well. So the Sorofagnax didn't take too much damage. Ready to face this Super Duper Barry. <sighs> Have to wet my whistle a bit there. I've been commentating for the last hour or so. Starting to take a toll on my voice. Hopefully I can keep it together in time for the final. I gotta give the rootiest, tootiest commentary you'll ever see. Oop, that's a tie. Well, Zeno has definitely got back in this match, but it's Baryonyx getting the first hit. I guess once, two more hits will do it for any. Ooh, maybe one more hit will do it. But can she get it? Well, the so Fagonax not done yet. Zeno coming back. Wow, this is quite a nail biter now. It's becoming a nail biter. The Hydro Cutter has been triggered though. Oh, the fireball! Ooh, 
Will the Barry survive? If it survives, it gets the Awaken mode. If it doesn't, it's dead. Well, obviously Xeno wins. It's got the Hydro Cut the trigger, so it might survive. Oh, no, never mind, it died. <laughs> and yes, another come from behind victory for Xeno Select Goku to secure third place. As for MEJP10, they will finish their tournament in fourth place, which is still much higher than I suspect any of us anticipated. But yes, well done to Xeno Slick Goku for winning the pointless match to finish third. Finishing their tournament on a high and in style. So well played to them. Right then. Now, on to the match that actually matters. The grand finale, the last match for this tournament. Diddy Darius going up against Ultima Dino King. Let's... Well, we're not going to begin yet. We're going to talk about the match and then we're going to begin. It's, fi it's finally here. It's finally here. The final matchup of this tournament. And the, well, the final matchup of any tournament video I do in 2022. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go through the teams real quick before we get started. So we'll have Gigant Spinosaurus against Coronosaurus first. So, so I suspect Ultimate will take an early lead with the type advantage. Although the Gigant Spinosaurus has only Rock Roller and that gets triggered after a win. So, you know... Again, I would probably still say Ultimate will take an early lead with that Coronasaurus. But then he's got to face the powerhouse, the big threat, the Amargosaurus. This is where I feel like Earth Barrier is really going to be handy for Takia when that thing comes in and faces and possibly faces the Amargosaurus. Because if the Amargosaurus gets the Futaba Cannon off with the Earth Barrier in effect, then it's basically wasted. So Earth Barrier is going to be huge in this match, I feel. If Diddy Darius gets off one Futaba Cannon, I feel like that will win it for him. But let's not forget that the Alpha Acro has Dino Stuffer as well. So I feel like Ultimate is very well protected against Futaba Cannon. So, even, so Diddy will probably have to get off one or two to actually do some real damage to Ultimate's team. Of course, you know, this only applies if the Earth Barrier activates. I mean, Dino Stuffer is 100% certain. You know, first crit that happens against the Acro, Dino Stuff is going to stop it. So that could be key for ultimately the Dino Stuff and the Earth Barrier, I think, could make the difference in this match. But as I said, if Diddy does land one Futaba Cannon full force, then I feel like Diddy will win this match. So I f those, I feel, are the three key factors in deciding who wins this match. Of course, then you can look at Tank Tector and Diddy has the Dino Tector to fall back to if he needs it. But... He hasn't really needed it at all in this tournament, I don't think. Actually, no, I think he used it against Random Guy, and that's about it. But yeah, before we start this finale, let's have a let's just put let's just enjoy a quick montage I put together of both of our combatants and their journeys to the final. Oh, here comes Sand Trap. No surprise there, and it's going to be awakening time for Takia next. Ultimate Dino King could win this matchup with the next round. Well, it didn't matter. It killed the Karifasaurus. Look at that. A dominant display from Ultimate Dino King as he secures a bonus point win over Balazons. Oh, this is, this is going to kill Sorofax. Sorofax is dead. The Futaba Cannon and the Final Fury and the Attack Boost Max Stats. This is going to be lethal. Oh, look at that. Yep, that's Mega Raptor gone. Diddy Darius cleaning house in. Oh my god, does this Dino Stuffer stop in the crit? There's the tie. Alpha Acrocamphosaurus showing his might. That was a crazy match. Like, somehow. Like, how the hell did Diddy Darius not get a bonus point win there? The Amargosaurus getting Diddy Darius back on track. Look at that, though. Incredible. Ultimate Dino King getting a bonus point win. Oh dear. This might actually be a one shot. Oh my god, it killed it! <laughs> Do not mess with Amargosaurus. Wow, this Amargosaurus is just a sweeper. It's absolutely insane. Oh, it's a green impulse. That's a 1-0 lead for Ultimate Dino King. And 10 wins out of 10 
Ultimate looking really good to reach 10 wins in a row. Game over for Random Guy. Diddy Darius going through to the last 16 round. And the ace in the hole for Diddy Darius does it again. Yeah, that's good. Well, our champ avoided a little bit of a scare and managed to pull off the win against Cryonova. There it is. They had a good run in this tournament, but unfortunately, it's all over for Fool's Cap and Matto. And it's our dark horse, Diddy Darius, going through to the quarterfinals. Hang on, didn't this happen in the last match between against Cryonova? The Alpha Echo just came in and sweeped up. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm waving the white flag here. Oh, it's a tie! It's the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario for Ratchet. Oh, disaster! What a disaster! And Ultimate Dino King kind of convincingly going through to the semi-finals. Oh, it's a big disaster for Zeno. Is this the end? Another tie? Oh, oh that's, that's game. That is game over for Zeno. Sandtrap is going to come in to finish off the Soro Faganax and send Diddy Darius through to the final. Oh, that's game. That's game. That's game. Doesn't matter what happens now. Emmy's not getting the hit. And it's a tie anyway, so Ultimate's going to win. Right. Without further ado, let's begin. In the red corner, for the last time, for Diddy Darius, it is Gigant Spinosaurus. And let's hope for an absolute mouth-watering finale. Of course, with that Futaba cannon, that's not going to be likely. In the blue corner, for Ultimate Dino King, we have Karanosaurus. Can Ultimate retain this crown? Or can Diddy take it away? I should point out, I would I would have loved to have added the custom music for this finale and for the like other battles as well, but I just could not get it to work to a quality I was happy with. Like I I managed to mute out some of the most of the music in this game, but it also took out the sound effects as well, so I wasn't overly happy with the quality of the audio there, so I decided not to bother and just keep it as it is. And it is Diddy Darius striking first. Ooh, but Ultima gets the crit. This crit's gonna do damage. Nature's blessing as well. Our champ striking back. Ooh, it's the Hunter type, the type advantage as well. This is a good start from Ultima Dino King. Looking strong early on. Ooh, ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, Diddy Darius not done yet with the Gigant Spinosaurus. Getting off a crucial hit and a crucial light recovery. And, um, you know, a defense boost as well. But I don't know if that's going to help at this point. Definitely not. Ideally, he probably wants to get rid of the Rock Roller so the Karanosaurus won't have the type advantage. Oh, huh. read my mind. Rock Roller coming. Diddy strike him back. This probably won't kill the Karanosaurus to the type advantage, but it will leave it on really low health. Oh, oh, never mind, it did kill it. Oh, of course, because this freaking Gigant Spinosaurus is strength type and it just won. That's why. <laughs> well, it is Diddy Darius, 1-0 up. But here comes Super Tartier for Ultimate, and as I said, that Earth Barrier is going to be crucial crucial earth barrier that's going to be. Needs it to survive a Margosaurus when that thing comes in. Oh well, Ultima gets that crucial hit there. Finishing off the Gigant Spinosaurus and levelling things up. Getting the technique boost off as well which will increase the likelihood of that earth barrier but here it comes. Here comes the big threat. The Amagosaurus. 
And as I said, put it this way, it gets off of Utaba Cannon in this match. Diddy's gonna win. But what I will say is unlike most of the other combatants in this tournament, Ultima is much better protected against it because of the Earth Warrior and because of the Dino Stuffer. Ooh, gets the first hit. That could be crucial. Can he get an Earth Barrier off? And he has the Awaken Mode as well if he needs it. And he does get off an Earth Barrier, but, you know, Futaba Cannon isn't triggered. So, you know, the Earth Barrier won't protect him from that, but it will protect him from a crit if the Amargosaurus gets one. Oh, oops. Oop. Oh, there's a tie. No sand trap, though. Another tie. Well, there is that crit, but again, the Earth Barrier is going to stop it. However, you know what has been triggered. And this tie is in killing range. Ooh, is it in killing range? Oh, it's a tie! It's a sand trap! And we are going to see the Awaken Mode. Has Ultimate turned the screw? <sighs> well, here we go. Awaken time for the Tarkia. Was that the chance missed? Well, again, he's got the Dino Tector. We won't count him out yet. But was that the chance missed? Was that the chance missed for Diddy Darius to land major damage? And now, well, Ultimate's got a golden opportunity to land major damage of his own. Diddy Darius gets the hit. Massive moment that could be. Oh look, they got the same move set. Oh, it's a tie. Well, the Taki is going down, so it is mono e mono. It is Tank Tector going up against Alpha Acro. Hmm, interesting. Ultima again a taste of his own medicine, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes you just gotta beat people at their own game. Well, here we go. Here we go. Alpha Acro coming in. Can it finish the job for Ultimate? And let's not forget, that Dino Tector bar's getting full. And Ultimate Earth could win it for Diddy. Was a tie. Did he won't mind that? Look at the bar. Oh, now things get interesting. It's Dino Tector time. Now, now the now things swing in Diddy's favour, because Ultimate's going to need at least two hits to win, whereas Diddy will only need one. Well, you might need two actually. So yeah, we can, might still be even. Oh, this one hit! Ultima gets the hit! Survives that round! Can he keep surviving though? He's got the Dino Stuffer as well, mind! Let's not forget that! Oh, there's the Dino Stuffer! That would have won it for Diddy! <laughs> Actually, will that kill the Ultimate Earth? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Never mind. If it killed the ultimate Earth, then yeah, ultimate would have won. Oh, another tie! Oh, this is nail biting! Oh, is that it? Has Diddy won? Has he done it? Has Diddy Darius won this tournament? Or will Alpha Acro survive? Oh, he's done it! 
already Darius, despite losing his ace in the hole, despite the Amargosaurus suffering, has won this tournament. An ultimate Dino King falls at the last hurdle, fails to retain that title, and is defeated in the final. Well, Amargosaurus didn't need to get off Futaba Cannon in the end. Instead, it was Tank Tector getting off the Ultimate Earth. And I don't even think Diddy's got Dino Tector once in this tournament. Absolute insanity. And it is Diddy Darius winning this tournament for the first time ever, I think. Yeah, for the first time ever, Diddy Darius has won. And honestly, overall, I think they deserve it. They, they really deserve this win. Absolute insanity. Like, I honestly thought Ultima had turned the screw there, but... Yeah, that hit from Tank when the Taki was in awaken mode, that, I feel like, was the turning point. If Ultima had got a hit off there, that would have been game over. That would have been game over. Ultima would have won. You know, but that hit, I feel like, was the turning point. Massive turning point in the match. And that swung the match's momentum Diddy's way. And Ultimate just could not finish the job. And once the Dino Tector had activated, that was that was probably the clincher, because Ultimate would have needed at least two or even three hits to win. Well, two crits would have done it, but he would have needed as I say, he needed at least two hits to win, whereas the tank tector only needed one. Like that would feel like was the clinching moment. That Dino Tector won it for Diddy. As for Ultima Dino King, well, they came so agonizingly close, but they fall at the last hurdle to Diddy Darius. Woo! <laughs> well, that's it. That is it. That is it for this tournament. We'll give Diddy Darius his five minutes of fame. Yeah, Diddy Darius wins the tournament. And yes, a big thank you to everyone who took part in this tournament. And it wouldn't be a tournament without all of you lovely people. And yes, now that the tournament is officially finished, I can talk about what I'm planning next. So yeah, I have had this question asked quite a bit, and I want to address it real quick. Will I be doing another tournament? In an honest answer, no. Not anytime soon. And well, definitely not this year. Like mid-2023, around April, May time, will probably be the earliest I would consider doing another tournament. However, all is not lost, as, well, yes, I am taking an extended break from doing tournaments like this. There are plenty of other lovely people who are hosting their own tournaments with their own unique twists, and I think, you know, they're very, very fun tournaments to join, and I will help those people out any way I can with my beautiful advice. And yeah, you could... If you, if you can't get enough tournament action, then you're more than well, you can join their tournaments. <laughs> but yeah, as for myself, this is going to be the last tournament I do for a while. You know, mainly because I just want to focus on other stuff now. And, you know, when I do do this again, I want it to be like real hyped up. It's like, oh yeah, I haven't done this for ages. You know, I want to bring real excitement for when I do another tournament. And if I do it too often, that kind of kills the excitement and the hype. So it's like, it's like it's like the World Cup. You don't have the World Cup every year because I can, that, you know, it can kind of kill the excitement. Then it's, like, it's a once every four year thing. I mean, I'm not saying that my tournaments will be a once every four year thing, but for now, I'm not going to do a tournament until 2023, as I said. Like norm, normal circumstances, I would have done a tournament this year. Well, at this tournament, I would have started in January, like I did the last one. And then next year, I would have done the next tournament at the start of January 2023. But due to the fact that I started this tournament early, because, well, I reached a thousand subscribers earlier than I anticipated, I am going to push the next tournament back to pretty much early, early mid-2023. And lesson learned, I will not be doing a tournament while there's loads of other stuff going on. 
And I've also learned that doing a tournament around Christmas and Halloween time is not a good idea. So I would rather do it while it's a bit quieter within the hype world of su stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I will not do another tournament now till 2023. But do not despair because there are plenty of other content creators out there that are doing their own tournaments. And while they may not be as glamorous as mine, they are still fun to take part. So yeah, that's it. There's not much left to say now. Just congratulations to Diddy Darius for winning their tournament. For winning a tournament for the first time. And I will say commiserations to Ultima Dino King because, you know, it's... It came so agonizingly close to retaining, to winning a tournament again. You know, twice in a row. And that's something that I would not expect to happen. Given how I do the do the like the moves are now with the random number generator. That's something I never would have anticipated to have someone win a tournament twice in a row. Like, I'd expect someone to win it multiple times, but not like one after the other. Like, I I'm sure Ultimate will win one of my tournaments again, but they'll probably win the next one, let's be honest. <laughs> or they may win the one after that. But not just wasn't meant to be, friend. So yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tournament. Thank you for all the amazing support. And yeah, sub subscribe, comment, check out my other stuff. And until next time, this is Strange Gamer signing out.